Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute bare bun strap for your phone or bag. So the materials you will need are this pattern that I will be posting on DeviantArt, so the link will be down below. You're going to need some embroidery floss or yarn, string, whatever you want to use in a light tan, dark tan, dark brown, and light pink. And you're going to need at least three pins and one needle. I use a long needle but you can use whatever you prefer and I already cut out the patterns. So make sure you pin down the two pink ears and we're going to start sewing those on to your plush. And basically you're going to make sure you go up through the tan and pink in your first stitch when you're coming up and then going down just through the tan right outside of the pink part and here I'm doing that a few times to show you and you'll be able to see better in a minute. This stitch isn't that difficult to do if you're a beginner and if you're experienced you should be able to get them pretty similar in size and length. Okay, so once you have those done, we're going to move on to the mouth. And for the mouth, you're going to do the exact same stitch and make sure you're using your light tan embroidery floss or thread. And when you're using the embroidery floss, I use two strands just so the stitches are more secure and are stronger so they don't break. And make sure you go around the entire mouthpiece. So next we're going to put the stitches connecting the ears to the mouth and it's just a little embellishment that are actually, like those stitches are on the squishy I inspired the plush off and it is a bun so you'll see how that's more detailed later. And I basically just weaved through and I don't know how to explain this but I showed you so. And next we're going to put on the eyes and I'm drawing mine on with a sharpie first and I also drew on the mouth just so I know where to position my eyes or start sewing. And this is probably the trickiest part of the entire plush keychain. You're going to want to make sort of a cross shape and then fill in the gaps almost like a star but more length, like lengthwise I guess. So and just fill in all the gaps in diagonals and sometimes you can do horizontals and it's some, it's not hard to do after you do it a few times but it can be tricky at first so I definitely recommend you draw on the eyes first so you can sort of have a stencil for what you're sewing So next we're moving on to the nose and I'm going to put a stitch across the nose and then I'm going to make a triangle pattern out of the string and then sew in and fill in the gap so you can't see the white part. And then you're just going to sew a line afterwards connecting the nose to the end of the mouthpiece and I'm also going to add a pink little mouth on my guy so it's like one of the plushies because one has their mouth like closed both of them and the other ones with their mouth open and I just like the one with the mouth open because it gives the plush a bit more color and here's where I'm drawing or sewing in the line to the mouth Not difficult, just make sure you come up where you went down when you're doing your stitches. And I did three stitches for this, you should probably be able to do three or two. But you should do smaller stitches so you may, won't see the white between the lines. And the last part of the plush is sewing it all together. So I'm basically just going in through one layer only and then doing a like wrap around stitch. I'm not sure the names of the stitches guys because I just kinda do it. I don't know. <laughs> so when you do these stitches you want to make sure you go through your loops though. It's not a blanket stitch really 
I guess it kind of is, but it's not as strong because it's only looped around like once. If you might not know what I'm talking about, but trust me, it's fine. And I just sewed a little flower on accident that came off a plant. And I'm having some difficulties here because I have things everywhere when I'm filming this video. But you know what? You're a true crafter when you know you've got tons of craft supplies around you. So the last part pretty much is stuffing your little bear bun and I'm just showing you how to do that, which shouldn't be too difficult, and you're just going to sew that up. So here's what the finished plush looks like. I added a little bow and a keychain, and the back is textured some. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and click on the links down below for more information.